Rush White House just keeps scheduling those press conferences at five o'clock. What a weird. Oh, oh, we're back. Oh, I was called by the White House today and told I might be on my show at five today. Welcome to the Glenn Beck program. In case you just missed that thrilling episode with Secretary of uh, Agricultural Vils uh, Vilsack, he said he's using this as a teachable moment. That is so great. You know, it, you know, it's weird. It was one year ago tomorrow that we had another teachable moment. Yes, yes, it's very similar. But apparently nobody learned their lesson. The president said a year ago tomorrow that the police acted stupidly in another racial controversy. And that's when we all should have been talking about health care. Well, that's weird because today we should have been talking about something else. Let me leave you with this thought here real quick right off the top. There are dates in this country that will live in infamy. Black Tuesday, October 29th, 1929. Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941. September 11th, 2001. And now I believe you can add July 21st, 2010 to this list. This will be the day that will be remembered as the day that the final nail in the Republic was pounded into the coffin. President Obama signed the financial reform bill today. And he said this. There will be no more tax funded bailouts, period. Really? That is such a relief. But you didn't really need a 2,000 page bill to stop the bailouts. You just needed to stop giving bailouts. They signed it in the Reagan building. No word on whether Ronald Reagan is spinning in his grave like a lathe. If you don't think that was unintentional, <laughs> you'd be right, it wasn't unintentional. No, no. They'll sign it in Ronald Reagan's building. Yep, we know this president pretty well. It's just another in a long line of terrible decision making with ruinous consequences by this administration. Hmm. We should use today as a teachable moment. So let's do that. How many times have you read in the media things like, um, oh, here's one. Beck distorts Obama administration's language. You know, this is from George Soros media networks, but it's also, uh, it's also on Think Progress, George Soros, and Huffington Post, all you know. How about uh, things like uh, Glenn Beck and Fixed News launch another smear campaign? Glenn Beck takes Fred Nugiberger out of context. Glenn Beck basics, uh, baselessly distorts. Glenn Beck, crazy man, jumps to conclusions. Eh, yeah. If most of these blogs and media outlets weren't all owned by George Soros and paid as much attention to the administration and government as they did trying to attack me and... <laughs> Faux news. <laughs> oh, lovey, uh, I've got a gem. <laughs> Faux news. F A U X. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. If they would pay attention to the real news, the Republic probably would be safer. But after seeing the news like we did from the Daily Caller and Journal List that we showed you yesterday, and there's even more today, more journalists showing their true colors, we'll show that in a few minutes, it's easy to see why no one in the media even bothers asking this administration questions. Instead, the outlets say, <laughs> I'm the one jumping to conclusions. I'm the one smearing and lying. <laughs> oh, man. You know, last night they were talking about how I damaged this woman and I hurt her career. I'm sorry, I think the only time I talked about her, I supported her. That's weird. That is weird. Oh, I saw another one. This one's going around in the internet that claims Beck says you can catch diseases from blacks. Yes. Yes, I have to admit it. Oh, yes, I did say it. Oh, call me up if I did not. See, they cannot call because I did. Guilty as charged, I did utter the words. You could catch diseases from blacks. Oh, you've got me now. <laughs> Play the tape. I deserve to be shamed. Woodrow Play Wilson it. was the president who brought Jim Crow to Washington. He not only segregated the army, but Woodrow Wilson's the guy who segregated bathrooms, cafeterias, work areas. He justified this um, and he said, you know, the white government workers, we got to segregate because, you know, you can catch diseases from blacks. 
That's Woodrow Wilson. Yes, but technically I did say those words, and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those pesky bloggers. Ah. You see, America, those were Woodrow Wilson's words. I was talking about him, quoting him. It's something called context. Yes, the teachable moment here, Mr. President, is context matters. Robert Gibbs said today, we can all learn a lesson. I think the lesson, one of the great lessons you take away from this is, uh, is to ask all the questions first Hello. and to come to that fuller understanding. Yes, ask all the questions first. Oh, that's a new lesson. I wouldn't have thought of that. He must have read it in an old dusty book. Kind of black magic. Ask all the questions before you ask. Yeah. Seems to me we have a pattern here. We have a pattern on this program of putting things in context. Am I perfect? No. No. You're not watching Jesus now, are you? He was the only perfect one. Me? Flawed. Sorry. But we work our butts off every day to make sure that we've checked into the context, whatever it is that we're showing. You know how many clips I could have shown of Van Jones that I could have played over and over again? I could have made him into... I could have made him into Beelzebub. I'm not saying Van Jones is Beelzebub, but I'm not not saying it either, am I? I uh, why? We didn't play a lot of stuff that we could have played for you. I mean, I've got closetfuls of stuff that we could have played for you. Oh, yeah. Yep. Could have made him look a lot worse. Why didn't we play it? Because we weren't sure what the clip really meant because we couldn't get the whole context. We couldn't get the whole, sheet, uh, the whole speech, so we buried it. Now, how many people wanted to convict and lock up the Times Square bomber? Now, I wanted to arrange a meeting with this dirt bag and Allah as soon as possible, just like everybody else. But it seemed like I was the only mature adult in the room, standing in the corner, raising my hand, saying, uh, -huh. <laughs> Miranda rights, what do you say? Citizen, Constitution. Shirley Sherrod is the next example. We didn't rush. Nope, we didn't rush to con uh, condemn her. In fact, I may have rushed to stand by her side. This is another seeming redistribution of wealth woman who I bet I disagree with on almost everything. But she asked for the rest of the tape to be heard, and I agree with her. The farmer in the story backed her up. It was a turning point story. If you don't have a turning point story, you're probably still a dirtbag. She has a turning point story. That's why we defended her. I stayed on her side of the story and demanded that her side be heard. Because crazy context matters. See, context matters, but not to the people of the Soros company. They believe media matters. Media matters. No, no. <laughs> no, not so much anymore, my friends. Because we realize to you, context doesn't matter. You see, that's how... You know, we call me old-fashioned, but <laughs> when I was a kid, that's what we used to do. But it's not how this administration does them. Instead of taking her at her word and waiting for the rest of the video, this woman was chewed up and spat out, all because... They want you to pull over to the side of the road and do it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you are going to be on Glenn Beck tonight. Wow. Wow. Because... She was going to be on me. Whoa. You're saying the most powerful group of people on the planet are afraid of little old me? Give me a break. Seriously, is that their big... If that is their biggest concern, they're screwed. Yes. They are screwed. Yes. I agree we with you. The, the, the guy with the chalkboard? I mean, seriously? They're afraid of the Joe. guy with the chalkboard? Yeah. Who cry, cries? They're, they're, they're not. If Stop. they're scared of him, can we please get somebody else to help us out with Iran? Because well, we're screwed. I think that's the first thing he's ever said that I agree with. Yes, Joe, baby, you're right. For once, we're screwed. And by the way, I'm not just one man with a chalkboard. I'm one man with four chalkboards. <laughs> this is about one of, I think, three things. And I'll tell you what they are when we come back. Yeah. You know, um, Vilisak said that uh, it's a teachable moment here. Hot root beer? Great. Hot root beer? 
Yeah, go ahead. Hot root beer. Why are you hiding behind the camera, Oscar? Is like a hot root beer? Thank you very much. It's a teachable moment. A year ago, we had the beer summit. I'm an alcoholic recovering. Yeah. So we will have a root beer summit and see what we can learn from this mess with this charade. Is it, uh, has it uh, hit anybody else that that's the way the English say charade? Charade. Hmm. Just like the lady's name in this charade. <laughs>